Welcome back to Crypto Comics, all you beautiful people in Webtown. And today we have something a little bit different, still from Rob Liefeld and Maximum Press. This is Avenge Blade, a cutting edge parody of all of the bad girl books that existed in the 1990s. I was not expecting much from this, uh, but then I sat down and I read it. I was really entertained. This was really fun. If you grew up in the 1990s, this is kind of a must have. You can probably find it for 50 cents or a dollar in your back issue bin too. And it was worth it. Issue one was definitely worth it. So let's uh, pop it open and see what's really going on in here. This is by Robert Liefeld with a script by Robert Napton, pencils by a wide array of people. Patrick Lee, John Stinsman, Ching Lau, Andy Park, Michael Chang, and my boy, Dan Fraga. Only D cups allowed, and believe it or not, these look like D cups. This looks like one of Madonna's bras from the early 90s. Welcome, ladies, to the annual meeting of the Bad Girl Club. I am your master of ceremonies, Blunder Woman. Well, I must say, it's been another prosperous year for our organization. While other comic books have used tired gimmicks and overhyped crossovers to boost sagging sales, we've continued to dominate the marketplace. Boom! Beautiful two page spread. And needless to say, there's nothing sagging about our figures, sales or otherwise. Bet hers would sag if that magic lasso of hers wasn't holding those things in place. When George puts out the Star Wars Special Edition next year, my buns will be back in business. Is this Leia? Get it? There's Leia. Hey, who's your anime knockoff hairstylist? Jeffrey Scoot? I hear he's the best. Blunder Woman looks weird this year. Why is she sporting the retro look? Some old school farts drawing her book now. Guess Diodato should hire some more studio lackeys so he can draw our book again and bring Stars and Stripes back into the 90s. So in closing, ladies, I'd like to declare the 1996 meeting officially open. Time to eat. So let's see who do we got here. I think this is Jubilee. That's definitely Cyblade from Cyberforce. There we have uh, Angela from Spawn, or now from Marvel Comics, now pretending to be Thor's sister. Now this looks kind of like Riptide to me. This looks like uh, Fairchild. This is definitely Power Girl. This is definitely She by Billy Tucci. This is Voodoo from Wildcats. Here we have Zealot back here. This is uh, likely uh, the chick from Wetworks. I think this is Velocity from Cyberforce. I think we've got Battle Angel Alita back here with the green stripes on her face. Obviously, as we mentioned before, Princess Leia, there's Witchblade. There's Warrior Nun Ariala, who we just covered yesterday here on Crypto Comics, Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month. Here is Purgatory from Brian Polito's Chaos Comics, now Coffin Comics. Um, Celestine, maybe? The other angel chick? Ballistic, also from Cyberforce. If you recognize any of these other females, please don't hesitate to point it out, like Vampirella, right here. Okay, so, let's keep going here. Just look at them. It's disgusting. All those bad girls with their big busts and skimpy costumes. They've soiled the comic book industry with all their flesh flaunting. Yeah, I miss the old days when quality fantasy comic books like Ulfquest were flying off the shelves. We need a champion, my sisters. A defender who can beat the bad girls at their own game. But who? We shall conjure her out of the fires of our own hatred. Come forth, destroyer of all bad girls, the queen of queens, the baddest of the bad. We need your help. We need the power of a Venge Blade. Official Jerk Shot, 1996. Ignatius Entertainment, a division of Wild Squall Comics. Artist logo size signature goes here. A Venge Blade. The bad girls have taken over the comic book industry. You must destroy them. You're our last hope of putting a stop to those scantily clad sluts. Will you help us? Sure. Why not? Let me at those bitches. Whoa. Risque. So, here we have, uh, hey, 
Trampirella number 14. I think Trampirella number eight's got some new breast implants. So who hasn't? Not me, mine are real. I tell you, dead lady, I bet these testosterone junkies and wannabe punishers miss the days of blood, guns, and guts. You said it, blunder woman. If our books keep selling, by this time next year, all of these losers will be out of work. Knock, knock, knock. I thought everyone was here. Who could that be? Beats me. Maybe it's that editor chick from Wild Squall. What's her name? Sarah Jessica Parker. Something like that. She's a dud. They should can her and put me on the real world. I've got some real world for you, girly. Party crash! Who's that? Yawn. You said it, Yawn. Even the darkest river of the unknown depths could not have conjured a vision so foul. Hey, she. Put a lid on it. I'll be around to deal with you in a second. First, it's time to kick some trampy ass. Eek! She just pops that head right off of that vampirella. Trampirella, excuse me. I'm Tramparella number one, the original bad girl, and I'm gonna sink my fangs in and suck you dry. Are you thirsty, you two-fanged freak? Here, have some blood-flavored Kool-Aid. Speaking of two-fanged freaks, don't forget that as soon as this is over, you can thump the thump the thumb 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 your way over to megawattcomic.com and pick up my comic book, Megawatt vs. the Vampires of the Sun. Still available on Kickstarter for a short time. You could even be drawn as a vampire in my comic book, believe it or not. If, you, uh, if you're a vampire in book one, odds are pretty good you'll, you'll live to book two. Just a, little, just a little tip for all you fanboys out there and fangirls. Please don't hurt me. Uh, I wasn't Tramparella for very long. I love that she's just thinking about the Grim Reaper. That's pretty funny. Not so fast, Tramparella number three. You're the notorious brown-haired Tramparella. The one who used to do all the conventions and posters and trading cards and then quit. There's some pissed off fanboys who've been looking for you. Heard you defected to the little eye after you left Harass Comics. That's right. I never wanted to be Tramparella. It was just a modeling job gone horribly, horribly wrong. No time for regrets, baby. In fact, I've had it with all you Tramparellas. Every last one of you. And there goes that head popped off and flying. The dark river of your soul casts a shadow on the light that illuminates the darkness of your everlasting winter in the springtime of tomorrow, Avenge Blade. Hey, Miss Saigon, enough with the David Carradine impersonation, all right? I've seen all those kung fu reruns, too. David Carradine, you would know as Bill from Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2 by Quentin Tarantino. He used to be in a show called Kung Fu, and Kung Fu, the legend, continues. That's what that's a reference to, if you were not around in the 90s to know. And surprisingly enough, she looks kind of like Michael Jackson with the yellow face. It's time for combat. Art of War attack, sense one. Scheme like a go-go dancer, atop an empty castle. Attack stance two, squat as if to excrete a foul odor to debilitate one's enemies. Attack stance three, fool your quarry into thinking you're something original when you're just an Electra knockoff. Ooh, ouch. Harsh. I would say I like she more than Electra, to be honest. Let me know uh, in the comments below your opinion. Who is better, Billy Tucci, she, or Electra from Daredevil? Attack stance four. Police! Shit! That's what that says right there. She, it. Blindside number two did not come out. This is on its way to my house right now, courtesy of mycomicshop.com. Well, blindside number one is on its way to my house, courtesy of mycomicshop.com, where you can get a lot of amazing comics you can't find at your local comic shop. That's the, that's the order I go in. I go local comic shop, and then I drive across the, the river to Portland, Oregon, where I check the local comic shops there. If I can't find it at any of those, then mycomicshop.com, which this, this is where I'm getting it from. I'm excited for it too. It should be part of Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month, but no, unfortunately it's not gonna be because we're running out of time, right? Yawn, yawn. Oh, it's you, yawn. Yawn, yawn. I love this because I collected Dawn uh, when I was younger and you might enjoy Dawn yourself. It's for mature readers. From Serious Comics. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, you esoteric bitch. Just once, I'd like to hear you say something that made some sense. 
why don't you do us all a favor and go slip into a coma somewhere and wipe those freaking tears off your face. She throws the tissues at her. If you want something to cry about, I'll give you something to freaking cry about. Zip, pow, slap. It doesn't show what she actually did to her. Interesting. Well, now we're to uh, Avengeline. Binge and purge, binge and purge, binge and purge, binge and purge. Another 12 pieces of angel food cake, and then time to pray to the porcelain potty. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I hope no anorexic chicks are watching this. I apologize. Hey, you, angel, I've been looking for you. I've heard of you. You're the new kid on the block. Just tell me this. What kind of angel gets her clothes from Fredericks of Hollywood and spends most of her time tempting a priest? Stay back, demon. You don't <clears throat> want to mess with Obingeline. Oh my gosh, Obingeline. I have a secret weapon. Just prick my finger on the fork and let the angel blood do the rest. You know how powerful angel blood is? I've used it to defeat my worst enemies. Would that be your undersexed fans? Ooh, ouch. No, I'm talking about demon filth like you. I wouldn't be so quick to cop that holier than thou attitude just because you're selling a few comics. You're the one who got knocked up by a demon and flashed her belly for all the world to see, not me. Uh-oh. By the way, Anyone ever tell you that you look just like Tramp Irella number three? So this is a, this is the inside shot at Kathy Christian. Kathy Christian played Vampirella on the convention circuit. One of the original cosplays ever in history. Like, I mean, Star Trek fans, Trekkie started it first, but then right after that, Vampirella. And Kathy Christian, who played Vampirella on the convention circuit, later went on to play the real-life version of Evangeline, which... You can see in our review of Evangeline number one right here on Crypto Comics. So what this tells us is that Rob Liefeld is not afraid to put out a comic book that even makes fun of himself and his own characters, which I appreciate. Leave that poor child alone. You, Sister Nun Areola. <laughs> yeah, the adults know what that means. Kids will have to dictionary.com it. First the angel, and now you? What's with all you religious types going nutso all of a sudden? I am a messenger of light. I shall conjure my sword of virtue and... Cool, thanks. Holy rosary attack! Nope, try again. Mary mother of God attack? Duh, next. Like a virgin kick? Yeah, well, consider yourself touched for the very first time. Ooh, loving it. Leave her alone, Avenge Blade. Glahori, you old wench. I was wondering when I might run across you. I heard Supreme became a woman just so he wouldn't have to date you anymore. That, that's not true. Every guy I met became a woman. D didn't you read Babe Watch? This is a reference to Youngblood Volume 2, Issue 3, where... All of Rob Liefeld's dudes became chicks. We'll get to that. We will get to that at some point in the future. Unfortunately, as I've previously stated, it's not going to be part of Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month because Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month is almost over! And that makes me sad. Must have missed that one. Sorry. You're no match for an Amazon warrior, Vengeblade. By the gods, I shall destroy you. Boing! Ow. Okay, you blunder woman wannabe. Enough with the Olympian crap. It's time to get some originality. Hey, and what's the deal with the albino hair? You're definitely overdue for a makeover. Clip, clip. Perfect, Glahori. Sinead O'Connor would be proud. My hair, my beautiful hair. Ah, quit your complaining. Don't worry, Glahori. I shall avenge you. Oh, no, not her. Hey, Kaboot. This is a chick named Kabuki. Uh, most people in the 21st century probably are not familiar with Kabuki. It was another one of the bad girls that was around back in the 90s. You're even more offensive than she. You know that? 
Maybe it's time to take that job as a karaoke hostess after all. Ouch. Because you're nothing more than a manga wannabe knockoff of an Electra ripoff. Why don't you go join the Ninja Turtles? I heard they're short a teary-eyed stupid bitch with a sickle. <laughs> it's definitely time to take that job as a karaoke hostess. Whew. Kicking all this bad girl ass is making me tired. Oh. It's you. Be Witchblade. You're the one with the great story, right? Everyone knows that your artist carries the book. The second he leaves, your sales are gonna plummet. And by the way, why is that long-haired GQ guy with the sword always in the same pose? Ugh. Dumb. Finally, the one I've been waiting for, Dead Lady. Obviously, this is the lovely Lady Death, who we've covered here before on Crypto Comics. You can check out Lady Death the Odyssey here on Crypto Comics and the Lady Death swimsuit issue also. Finally, the one I've been waiting for, Dead Lady. Well, what did I do? You're the worst of all, you lobster-looking, tomato-skinned, ugly-ass, badly written, badly drawn, saddest excuse for a comic book I've ever seen. You're going to join your punk friend. Bad Bernie and comic book oblivion. The, 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 the guys at Sorcerer Magazine say my back issues are hot. They'd say that about me too if I was getting kickbacks. Tell me something. Those D cups of yours, real or fake? I think it's time we find out. Slash. Pfft. Thought so. No, no, not my beautiful D cups. Oh, yes. And that's not all. I like the new look, but it looks like to me you could use some more sun. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. I don't know if this is like a, a mirror reflecting more light onto her, or is this a tanning booth? This structure, not quite clear, but whatever. <laughs> Much better. You're going to be the envy of bad girls everywhere. It's all very cartoonish. I like this. But now you're going to be subjected to a torture far worse than anything the others have endured. No, please, not that. Anything but that. Yes, that's right, dead lady. You're going to have to read every issue of your own comic. Every torturous word. Every bad drawing. Every stupid plot. Over and over and over. Why me? All I ever tried to do was titillate the fanboys with tales of fun and adventure. Whew! I'd have to say the coven would be proud. My work here is done, but my job's not finished. There are others in the comic industry equally deserving of my wrath. It's time to pay a visit to my friends at Wild Squall. To be continued. And indeed, it is continued. And indeed... What... Is that Hellshock? Tell me in the comments below if you think that's Hellshock. Hello, people. My name's Matt Hawkins, and I had the dubious pleasure of editing the book you now hold in your hot little hands. Hopefully, you laughed out loud just once during our parody. If so, then we did our job. If not, we're sorry. Remember, it's a parody. Laugh. It's supposed to be funny. Write us and let us know what you think. And please, no more death threats. You know who you are. Matt. Glory, Celestine, issue one of three, Dark Angel. I don't have it. They did a lot of these Batgirl team-up books. And I'm assuming they made some good money from them. New attitude, new look, new men. This is uh, on its way to me from mycomicshop.com right now because this is part issue one of New Men. The new New Men is part of uh, the final crossover, I believe, Rob's Extreme Studios ever had at Image Comics that was called Extreme Destroyer, and we will get into it at some point in the future. Unfortunately, Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month is, is almost over, so we can't do it. Youngblood X-Force. This crossover is, strangely enough, also on its way to my home from mycomicshop.com. And I'm really excited to read this because, you know, when I uh, was a kid collecting comics, it was all about X-Force, and then later it became all about Youngblood. And Rob Liefeld is a theme in my comic book collecting life. And I'm super stoked to share this with you. Obviously, also not going to be part of Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month. 
Uh, Dark Child Glory, no. Battlestar Galactica, no. Youngblood number 12. Interesting. So this has to be Youngblood Volume 2, Issue 12. Um, what's odd is I don't think this actually exists. Uh, when you go to, believe it or not, mycomicshop.com, and you search for Youngblood Volume 2, it hops from issue 11 to issue 14. Issue 11 was released by Extreme Studios and Image Comics. Issue 14 was released by Maximum Press. Issue 14, ironically enough, also in a box on its way to my house right now from mycomicshop.com. And I'm hoping that when I get Youngblood number 14 from Maximum Press, not Image Comics, we will find out what actually is going on with issues 12 and 13. Uh, it makes me think that they are drawn and sitting in a file folder somewhere, waiting to be published 25 years later. Uh, a lot of Rob's Extreme Studio stuff, I kind of feel that way about. Bloodstrike and Brigade, uh, you know, they both had an issue 25 in the Images of Tomorrow uh, event that occurred, which you can actually you can actually look at that here on Crypto Comics too, if you go back far enough into the past in the uh, Image Comics review playlist or just the comic book playlist you will see images of tomorrow which had blood strike number 25 and brigade number 25 and storm watch number 25 and what else was the other book i can't remember it dang it but anyway you can see it here on crypto comics images of tomorrow and you know hopefully we'll get some resolution here because obviously there wasn't an issue, I think 23 and 24 of Brigade or Bloodstrike, but the Bloodstrike Brutalist uh, little mini series that came out this last year, from what I've been told, actually completed the arc of that story from 25 years ago in Brigade and Bloodstrike. So uh, that might be worth investigating more in the future. And maybe I'll do that. Uh, primarily though, Youngblood 14, will hopefully be able to explain to us what the heck happened with Youngblood 12 and 13. And if they do exist, I will track them down, but to not see them listed on mycomicshop.com was a, a very big surprise. Avengerline number zero, we already did this. Check out Avengerline's origins and her fall from heaven right here on Crypto Comics. This was just, what, a week ago. Ooh, this, uh, the first image comic, Youngblood number one, completely rewritten by Rob Liefeld and Eric Stevenson, completely recolored and completely remastered. Youngblood, the way it was meant to be. It is my understanding that this was not a comic book that was published as a floppy. From what I can gather, this completely rewritten issue number one is only available in a hardcover collection of uh, the first few Youngblood issues. And I'm not honestly sure if it was Rob Liefeld and Eric Stevenson who rewrote it. I think it was Rob Liefeld and another person. Uh, I don't own that hardcover. I would have to do a little bit more digging to find out for sure what's happening with this. And I'm happy to do that and talk about it in the future here on Crypto Comics. Something I can't talk about in the future on Crypto Comics is Alan Moore's run on Supreme which is the stuff of legends, but is uh, apparently very difficult to find. I have a few of them, but uh, not the whole thing. And I don't want to talk about this in great detail until I have the whole thing so I can actually determine for myself if this is an amazing comic book run by an amazing writer. We'll find out. But that is Avenge Blade number one, a cutting edge parody indeed. It was funny to me. If you thought it was funny, let me know in the comments below and check this out. It was funny enough that I tracked down Avenge Blade number two, which is also a cutting edge parody and features Avenge Blade going to Wild Squall Studios in the home of Homogenized Studios. And I'm not gonna read this, but I do wanna show you that Jim Lee is the villain in it. <laughs> so this I found very entertaining that Jim Lee is the villain in a comic book. If you're a Jim Lee fan, this is definitely something you're going to want to pick up because it will make you laugh. Characters like Floozy, Grungy, Fairweather Child, Sunburn, and Stainmaker, all part of Jim 13. Huh? Jim 13? Get it? You get it? I know you get it. Anyway, that's Avenge Blade. It was surprisingly entertaining, surprisingly fun, surprisingly irreverent of the bad girl craze of the 1990s that actually made all these guys uh, a ton of money.
made them like literal millionaires, became literal millionaires because of the sexy chicks they put in their comics. And here it's exploited and, and made fun of in, in a great send-up called Avenge Blade. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the ding dong for notifications because we come back each and every day. And now, now that it's Halloween, we're coming back twice a day, once at noon with Rob Liefeld comic books and once in the evening around 7 p.m. Pacific time with totally awesome Halloween comic books. And I hope to see each of you every day and every night right back here at Crypto Comics. And while you're here, do me a big favor, pick up your smartphone and thump the thump the thump 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 the thump the thump thump the thump the thump thumb your way over to megawattcomic.com and pick up my comic book. That's right, the comic book I wrote just for you beautiful people in Webtown for all you beautiful crypto knights. It's called Megawatt versus the Vampires of the Sun. I guarantee you will enjoy it if you give it a chance. I know it's a little wild. I know it's a little wonky. I know it's it's not your typical, stale, unoriginal, superhero comic book that's a knockoff of a knockoff of a knockoff of another superhero comic book that was popular 25 years ago. This is 100% wholly original, and you will have fun with Megawatt versus the Vampires of the Sun right now on Kickstarter.com. Just go to megawattcomic.com and come back here tonight and again tomorrow. For more Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month, more awesome Halloween comic books, more crazy zany fun, courtesy of your boy Crypto at Crypto Comics. I'll see you tonight and tomorrow.